In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to do manual reconciliations just a bit easier. What does that mean? It means that if you've got a set of data and you want to tick them off, let's say with an X here, one X there, and by doing that, it should color in all of this information for you. So every time you click an X or take it away, it should color it in. So it, it helps with reconciliations to make sure your data stands out. And in this example, you can see the yellow ones I know I've done something with, and I'm quite happy with it. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm just going to take off the colors I've just done. I'm going to take off that text. So the way you do it, you always, you start in the first cell, just on one cell. You don't go to conditional formatting. And this is going to be a new rule. And we're going to use a formula. And it's going to be a logical test. So we're going to ask Excel, is that cell? And we don't want the dollar signs everywhere. We only want it in front of the F. Because once we start copying this to the left, we want it to always stay in column F. So we're going to ask if that cell is equal to X. Remember, X is text, so it must be in inverted commas. So if that logical test is true, then we want to make sure it turns yellow. So if this logical test is true, this color must be there. And if we copy to the left, it will always test column F. But if we copy down, the 4 will change to 5. So effectively, we'll, we'll do the same test on every single row. So I'm just going to say OK. So now it's on that one. If I take away the X, it's there. If I put it there, it's there. OK, so how do we copy and paste conditional formatting? You stand on this one. You click on Format Painter, and we select everything. If we just want to change this cells back to the original number formatting, we just click on the comma on top. So now this should work. Every time I click X, we effectively reconciling the different cells. So it's an easy way and a bit more effective way to reconcile. If we don't want the X to be yellow, we can just click somewhere where there's no conditional formatting, click on Format Painter, and select them all. So if we just take that one away, so it's an easy way to do it.